Um, I, I read a quote from Arthur C. Clarke which said that a, um, a sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. And, and that's really true. Uh, if, you th if you go back, say, 300 years, the things that we take for granted today uh, would be, you'd, you'd be burned at the stake for. Um, you know, being able to fly, um, that's crazy. Uh, being able to see over long distances, being able to communicate, having um, effectively, uh, with the internet, uh, a, a, a group mind of sorts, um, and having access to all the world's information uh, instantly from almost anywhere on the earth. Um, this, is, this is stuff that, that really would be magic, or would be considered magic um, in, in times past. In fact, I think it actually goes beyond that because there are many things that we take for granted today that weren't even imagined in, in times past. They weren't even in the realm of magic. So it actually goes, goes beyond that. So I thought, well, you know, if, if, if I can do some of those things, basically if, if, if I can advance technology, then that, that's like magic and that would be really cool. Um, and the, the, I always had sort of a slight existential crisis because I was trying to figure out what, what does it all mean? Like what's the purpose of things? And um, I came to the conclusion that if, if we can advance the, 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 the knowledge of the world, if we can do things that expand the scope and, and, and scale of consciousness, then we're better able to ask the right questions and become more enlightened. And, and that's really the only way forward. So. Uh, so so I, I, I studied uh, physics and business because I figured in order to do a lot of these things you, you need to know how the universe works and you need to know how, how, how the economy works um, and you also need to be able to bring a lot of people together to work with you to create something because it's very difficult to do something as, as an individual if it's, if it's a significant technology. So I, uh, I originally came out to, to California to uh, try to figure out how to improve the energy density of, of, um, uh, of, of electric vehicles, basically to, to try to figure out if there was an advanced capacitor that, that, that could serve as an alternative to batteries. And um, that was in 95, and uh, that's also when the internet uh, started to happen. And, and it, I, I, I thought, well, I can either uh, pursue this, tech, this technology where success may, be, may not be one of the possible outcomes, which is always tricky, um, or uh, participate in the internet and, and be, be part of it. So I decided to, to drop out. Um, now obviously you, fortunately we're, we're, we're past graduation, so I can't be accused of recommending that to you. Um, <laughs> and um, so, so did some internet stuff. Um, you know, did a few things here and there, um, one of which was PayPal, uh, to be drawn there. Um, but um, I, I think the, the, the overarching point I want to make is that um, you, know, you guys are the, the magicians of the 21st century. You know, um, don't let anything hold you back. Uh, imagination is, is the limit. Um, and um, go out there and create some magic. Thank you.